Biden can say we can't have bazookas or something, but you know, I don't, I don't know that you couldn't. Biden might say you can't have a bazooka or something. Bazooka though? Should any everyday Americans have a bazooka? Founding fathers would have had like they had bazookas. <laughs> so. yeah, well, founding fathers happened. like also owned slaves and didn't let yeah. women vote, right? Well, times have changed. Yeah, man. All right. yeah. And you know the founding fathers, you know all those guys who lived before there were bazookas. Yeah, they wanted bazookas too. Come on, guys. Really? We're at the point where we can't even say bazookas are outlandish? That everyday Americans should have a weapon system that can take down a tank because everyday Americans need to protect their families, not from bears, not from other Americans, but for military grade tanks. And when this person is reminded, even though he said that the founding fathers might want a bazooka, which makes no sense to me because they didn't know it existed. He goes on to say, when reminded that the founding fathers also owned slaves and wouldn't let women vote. He says, well, Times are changing, not in a good way, because he begins to walk away. And what's also missed is if you look at his friend, he sucks his teeth in a way that says, I'm disappointed that I can't own black people or I can't stop women from voting like the founding fathers. Yeah, the founding fathers like also owned slaves and didn't let yeah. women vote, right? Well, times have changed. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah. This is ridiculous. You need to pay attention to these people's actions because something is at play here. And it's not just the genius of the folks at Good Liars, it's also the attitude that's killing so many Americans. And that, my friend, is not hyperbole. Should there be an amendment on the Second Amendment? Because times are changing, there's so many- I doubt that's ever gonna happen. Would you be in favor of it though? No. If it saved children's lives? No. Even if it saved children's lives? Because yeah, that's not gonna be the answer. But, uh, but if it if it did statistically save children's lives, should we have more gun control? Uh, no. This idea that we cannot amend the Second Amendment at all, even when questioned about if there were statistics to say that gun control would save children's lives, this person would not be for it. He said no. That's not the answer. He's wrong on that because there's science, science that say, if we had gun control, small gun control, small measures taken could have saved the lives of the children in Uvalde and so many other places. But it's this idea, it is this mindset that is uniquely American that says, my guns are my right and you can't do anything about it. It seems that these gun crazy nuts in America disagree with the thinking of Supreme Court justice Wendell Holmes, who was probably the most quoted justice ever on the Supreme Court, who said, your right to swing arms, your arms, end exactly where the other man knows began. Because these people believe their Second Amendment right to kill people, to own bazookas, to do whatever, is unlimited. It is childish and it is American. And it's also the reason we are outpacing any developed nation and not in a good way when it turns to lives taken by guns. No developed nation can compare to America. What a horrible statistic for the greatest country in the world. I'm Mundell Robinson. Have a good evening, not before you think about it.